Hi, my name is Sam, and I'm here to tell you about Active Aging Week. Active Aging Week was created by the International Council on Active Aging, and we will be celebrating it here at Passivent through Aspire Wellness on Monday, September 30th through Friday, October 4th. There are a lot of exciting events happening during that week that will be posted in the Life and Times and also here on Channel 900. We will have Colin Milner, the CEO of the International Council on Active Aging and the founder of Active Aging Week here on Monday, September 30th during our kickoff tailgate party. You will get to meet Colin and talk with him while we enjoy fun games and food. And he will also be here on Tuesday, October 1st as a speaker to discuss an active aging topic. Other events happening that week include poetry readings, a discussion about fall prevention with physical therapy, Al Stoker hosting the Abundant Life Men's Fellowship Chili Sale, Sunrise Service with Pastor Frida, entertainment from opera singer John Huckle, and wrapping up the week with our annual Fitness Center Golf Outing on Friday with dinner in the Fitness Center to follow. Most importantly, if you sign up to participate in two or more of these events, you'll receive this really cool Aspire Wellness t-shirt for free. And all you have to do is visit me in the fitness center or call the fitness center number that's on the screen by September 6th. Tell me your t-shirt size and the events you'd like to participate in. And that's it. I can't wait to hear from you and I hope to see you there. Paige Lawton, a freshman softball player from Mars Area High School, had a traumatic and life-altering injury in a serious accident where she was hit by a car crossing Route 228 as a pedestrian. She was in a medically induced coma for over a month, suffering from a brain trauma, a broken leg, amongst other injuries. Paige spent a couple of months in the hospital until she was moved into a rehab facility. She had to relearn everyday activities including walking and talking, something people take for granted. But most importantly, Paige had something that she had dedicated her whole life to taken away from her, softball. She had spent countless hours of hard work and determination to work her way back to the player she's born to be. Through all of this, she had done it with a smile and competitive look on her face. Although her prognosis was poor, she is back playing the sport she loves. Quite a comeback for our 2024 Most Positive Softball Athlete. And here is Robert McCabe, athletic trainer with UPMC Sports Medicine, with a special announcement. Hello. My name is Rob McCabe, and I'm a manager with UPMC Sports Medicine, Athletic Training and Development. UPMC Sports Medicine is proud to sponsor the Comeback Player of the Year Award again this year, and through the Positive Athlete Program, many deserving candidates were identified. For this award, we look for student athletes who exemplify the characteristics of courage, hard work, determination, and positivity in the face of adversity as they recover from an injury or medical condition to return to the sport they love participating in. As many who are a part of the sports world are aware, it truly takes a team approach to ensure the success of an individual participating on an athletic team. I am honored to announce that the female recipient of the 2024 UPMC Sports Medicine Comeback Player of the Year Award is Paige Lawton. Paige overcame a high degree of adversity and displayed great determination to overcome her injuries and return to being a competitive softball player on her team. On behalf of UPMC Sports Medicine, I would like to congratulate Paige on winning this award and wish her all of the best in the future. Good Monday morning, and welcome to this week's edition of Monday Morning Madness. We hope you enjoy hearing these announcements in this quick and easy format. I'm Patty Haladio. And I'm Evelyn Aronson. And thanks for joining us today. Today is a day to celebrate both National Bacon Lovers Day and National Burger Day. The Bistro invites you to try a double bacon burger lunch special combo. Today, Monday, August 19th, while supplies last. Today is also another all-cash bingo, sponsored by the Residents Association. Bingo starts at 2 p.m. sharp in Shoal Conference Center. The cost is $15.00. And this includes a six card sheet, snacks, soft drinks, beer, and wine. This event is for passive residents only, so we hope to see you there. It'll be lots of fun. All vet veterans and their spouses are invited to a veterans breakfast 
which is held the third Tuesday of each month at 10 a.m. in the Barron's Inn. Think about taking one or more of the Aspire Wellness trips offered this session. The upcoming trips include the following. On August 20th, a trip to the New Temple of the Latter-day Saints. On August 29th, a trip to Shakespeare's Restaurant. On September 1st, a trip to hear Giman Faganu Welsh songs in Pittsburgh. And on September 14th, there will be a trip to Nemecolin Castle. And finally, on September 19th, a trip to Pittsburgh for a tour of PNC Park. Park. I want to do that. I'm thinking you're going to mm -hmm. go there. Yeah, yes. Yeah. To go on any of these trips, be sure to complete a course registration form to sign up. These trips are also listed in your Aspire Wellness Catalog. So remember to sign up. I will. Part one of the Aspire Wellness Money Matters course still has two classes left. I go to that, by the way. It's really? very good. I went on originally when it was first offered. It was really good. Yep. On Tuesday, August 20th, that's when the next class is, and Tuesday, August 27th, the course meets from 3 to 4 p.m. in Shoal Conference Center. Additional details are in the Aspire Wellness Catalog. So, if you're interested in participating, please, re please register in the Fitness Center. And the Celebrate Aging series, featuring an interview with our resident, Sylvia Churgan, will take place again in this Thursday, August 22nd, in Shoal Conference Center at 1 p.m. Come and enjoy her stories and her history. That was really good, too, by the way. Yeah. It was it was great. Good. Have you had your picture taken yet for our campus pictorial directory? If you are a new resident or if you're in if you are a resident who wants to have an updated picture taken for the 2024 addendum, just come to the foyer of the Abundant Life Center between 2 and 3 p.m. this Thursday, August 22nd. This pictorial directory is sponsored by the Resident Association and a reminder that the Ladies' Night also is this Thursday, August 22nd, in the Shoal Conference Center. For those ladies who signed up, the social begins at 5 and dinner begins at 5.30. I'll be going to that. Yeah, me too. You signed up? I am, I'm in. Perfect. Okay. Are you curious about Medicaid, which is also known as medical assistance? Join us for an informational session on the what, when, and how of Medicaid. This presentation will be held on Friday, August 23rd from 1 to 2 p.m. in Shoal Conference Center, and it is hosted by Carmen Pooler. She is the Medical Assistant Coordinator for Lutheran Senior Life. Please note that the brunch entree meal for this Sunday, August 25th, will be Tuscan-style roast beef. Although the dining entree that was listed in the dining packet was incorrect, the griddle and egg bake items are still correct. There you go. Um, our outpatient rehab department is offering free screenings of walking speed. Mm -hmm. A study at Duke University shows that gait speed is a key indicator of health and longevity. So call outpatient rehab at 724-452 3492 today to schedule your screening. You will be glad that you did. We are reminding residents that the step start of the new Aspire Wellness uh, session has begun. If you haven't done so yet, be sure to browse your catalog and fill out your class registration forms as soon as possible. This session is full of great opportunities for all of us. If you have questions, contact or visit the fitness center. Plan to experience Samson, which was filmed in Lancaster, PA, in the Sight and Sound Theater. This film will be held on Monday, August 26th at 1 p.m. in Shoal Conference Center. If you're interested, call Barb, Patty, Peggy, or Pastor Susie now to reserve your seat. Their numbers are listed on the Samson slide if you're watching Channel 900 and also in the Life and Times. It's supposed to be fantastic. It and is good. I know what uh, that they hosted last month was fabulous. No words. It's super. Great. Where are we? Oh, yeah. Come and enjoy a yummy ice cream sundae at the resident and staff ice cream social next week on Thursday, August 29th. Residents should plan to come between 1230 and 2 p.m. And staff can attend between 2 and 3 p.m. 
and August is National Peach Month. Oh my. Mm -hmm. Make plans to shop at the Bistro's Main Street Market from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. in the Abundant Life Center lobby on Friday, August 30th. The feature this month is not peaches, but tomatoes. <laughs> On the move, a group exercise class takes place in the fitness center aerobics room on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 2 till 2.45 p.m. This class is designed to improve walking and balance by using stepping and walking patterns to walk faster and farther. Plan to become more confident in your walking with On the Move. Register for this class in the fitness center or call them at 724 452 three four five six great all are welcome to join in the lutheran worship service on sundays at 10 30 a.m in seaman memorial chapel if you are unable to attend in person though you can always watch the broadcast live on channel 900 the scripture readings are provided mm -hmm. on the slides on channel 900 and the Catholic Communion service is held on Thursday mornings at 10.30 a.m. in Seaman Memorial Chapel. You're welcome to join in. And all residents are also invited to the Passivant Community Gathering Worship and Praise Service. It is located in Seaman Memorial Chapel at 2 p.m. on Sunday, August 25th with Pastor Jim Demchuk. Come and enjoy this ecumenical worship with good old hymns and great messages and the good news of Jesus. The campus bus begins pickup at 1.30, so remember to put your porch light on before 1.30 if you need a ride so the bus drivers know to stop and pick you up. The regular hours for the gently used shop, which is a great place by the way, mm -hmm. are Tuesdays and Thursdays from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. Proceeds benefit the Benevolent Care Fund. And did you know that when you purchase items from the gift shop, it builds funds through the auxiliary, and these funds are used to improve our campus. The gift shop, which is located in the Abundant Life Center lobby, is open Monday through Friday from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. And now, you can also purchase fine cutlery by RADA in the gift shop. Our Busy Hands group is extra busy these days. Mm -hmm. If you knit, crochet, or sew, we could use your help to meet items for charity. The group meets on Mondays from 1 to 2 p.m. in the Arts and Crafts Room in the Abundant Life Center and from 3 to 4 p.m. in the Activities Room of New Haven Court. If you're interested, just show up to one of the sessions. All skill levels are welcome and appreciated. A Bible study and hymn sing is held on Thursdays at 1.30 p.m. in Seaman Memorial Chapel with Pastor Frida and Jim Fister. If you have a family member who's living with mental health challenges, you may want to participate in a family support group, which meets on the second Tuesday of each month at 5.30 p.m. in the Beatitudes Room of the Abundant Life Center. This support group is hosted by NAMI, the National Alliance of Mental Illness of Butler County. Details are in the Life and Times. And this is just a reminder that the dining room in Wittenberg continues to remain closed until further notice. Free delivery, however, is available for residents who live at Wittenberg. The Abundant Life Center Beauty Shop announces its days and hours of operations as the following. So take notes if you need to. The Mondays and Tuesday, oh, excuse me, on Mondays and Tuesdays, they do hair from 9.30 a.m. to 3 p.m. On Wednesdays, they do hair and nails from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. On Thursdays and Fridays, they do hair and facial waxes from 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. Please call first, 9, sorry, 724-452-1602 or extension 1602 to make an appointment. An ox roast with a traditional roast beef meal is being held on Monday, September 2nd at the Zillianople Community Park from noon until 6 p.m. And the cost is only $15. And finally, we are always looking for new people to help read these announcements. No experience is necessary. 
as evidenced here. And here. We tape the announcements on Wednesday mornings and it takes less than 30 minutes. Just talk to Owen Miller in Media Services or simply put your name on the sign-up sheet on his office door located past the creamery. We guarantee you'll have fun. We're having fun, aren't we? I'm having oh, fun. Oh, balls. There you go. Mm -hmm. So think about trying that. <laughs> Thank you for watching this edition of Monday Morning Madness. If you missed any of the information, such as the phone numbers or contact information, you can find it on the Channel 900 slides and also in the Life and Times. We broadcast this show every Monday at 7 a.m., 9 a.m., noon, 6 p.m., and 10 p.m. And you can also watch this broadcast at any time on our YouTube channel. Just search on Aspire Wellness. And you can even have your family members search on Aspire Wellness to see what's going on on campus. We hope you find this broadcast to be a quick and convenient way to hear the announcements. Please continue to watch Channel 900 throughout the week for daily updates and cancellations. Have a great weekend. Or week. There you go. <laughs>
pretty basic. It runs on batteries. <laughs> the batteries go in the, the um, compartment in the back, snaps on. You select whatever system you want to use for your listening. I'm gonna put the headphones on. A lot of people um, who want to just increase the sound with their hearing aid will use these. When you turn it on, the buttons are um, extra large, they're soft, there's color contrast, so if you're also having some, um, some vision impairments, they're easy to see. To operate the amplifier, you'll connect either your headset or the earbuds right into the, the port. You put those on your head. You're gonna press this button, that's the power button in the top corner. You'll hold it for a second, you'll see the lights flash. Once this green bar is lit, you'll know that your amplifier is functioning. If you need to make it louder and increase the sound, you press the plus button. If you want to make it more quiet or decrease the sound, you press the minus button. Tone buttons are on the bottom. That's much more of a preference. You may need more help with um, higher pitches or lower pitches. You can kind of play around with those until you find a sound that you like. If you see the orange light down here start to flash, you need new batteries. If the light stays constant, your batteries are completely dead. Batteries are just on the back. You release the case, and it just takes two, two AAA batteries, or double A's, I'm sorry, two AA batteries. When you're finished using it, you just press the button again, everything turns off, and you're saving your batteries. Um, it has a small clip, it has a belt clip, so you can attach it to a pocket, you can attach it to um, your, your slacks or your trousers, you can attach it to your purse or your backpack. You just want to remember that this is where the microphone is, so you want that pointed somewhere towards the sound. You don't want it deep inside the pocket or you won't be able to hear anything. Some examples of places where you might want to use this, um, small conversation at home, small conversation with um, friends when you're having a meal or a dinner, smaller social gatherings. If you take it someplace like the bistro, you'll notice that you're gonna hear all the noise amplified, um, so you might not be as comfortable with that. Meetings, doctor's appointments are a great option to make sure that you hear exactly what it is your doctor is telling you and what you need to do for follow-up. Um, and any kind of meetings. You know, I've had folks use these because they go to meetings where we sit at long tables and they can't hear the people on the same side of the table of them speaking. So they just um, use these amplifiers to help them for, for that. You can use them with hearing aids. I've said that before. Um, I will not say this is a replacement for hearing aids. Hearing aids will always be better. Um, it's just another option. If you either don't need hearing aids all the time, but you still need some help hearing, or um, you're dollars, um, little high, I realize that you're gonna get a lot of use out of it. I also have several in my office if you would want to trial them or borrow it before you make a purchase, and I'm very happy to let you do that. And you may have even seen some other folks on campus wearing these. Um, they're also available from a few other places online, all the same price. I have not seen them for a better price somewhere else. I always look around to see if I can find a deal. Buttons are large, tactile, easy to see. We talked about that. Um, if you want to try it, if you want more information, stop down and see me. I always tell people if you're coming just to see me, call first to make sure it's a day that I'm in um, and a day that I'm on campus and in my office. Otherwise, if my door is open, feel free to pop in anytime. Again, this is the Bellman and Symphon Maxi Digital Personal Amplifier. We just call it the amplifier here though. Okay, thank you, until next time. This is the Jubilee Sovereign by Marriott Edgar, and it goes like this. On Jubilee Day, the Ram's Bottoms asked all the rela relations for tea, including young Albert's grandmother, an awkward old party was she. 
she'd seen Queen Victoria's jubilee and her wedding to Albert the Good, and she got quite upset when young Albert asked her how she got on in the flood. She cast quite a damper on the party, but cheered up a bit after tea and gave Albert a real gold sovereign she'd saved up since last jubilee. It had a picture of the queen on the one side and a dragon fight on the reverse, and it tasted of kaffir and kemper and cobwebs through being so long in her purse. Albert cuddled the coin and he kissed it, and he felt a rough edge with his tongue, or he knew by the look of his father that it wouldn't be his very long. Shall I get you your money box, Albert, said mother, so coaxing and sweet. And Albert let drop an expression he must have picked up in the street. I'll show you a trick with that sovereign, said Pa, who were hovering near. And he took and pretended to eat it and pulled it back out of his ear. This magic filled Albert with wonder. And before you could say Uncle Dick, he got the coin back from his father and performed the first half of the trick. When they saw as he'd swallowed the sovereign, with excitement his relatives burned, with each one suggesting some process or getting the money returned. Some were for fishing with tweezers, others for shaking it out. If they only got back a few shillings, they said would be better than out. They tried holding Albert's head downward and giving his back a good thump when his uncle, who worked for a chemist, said there's naught for it but stomach pump. They hadn't a stomach pump, Andy, but Pa did the best as he could with a bicycle pump as he'd borrowed, but that weren't a airport or good. At the finish, they sent for the doctor, who looked down his throat with a glass and said, Aye, this'll mean operation. I'm afraid he shall have to have gas. How much are this going to cost us, said Pa Father, beginning to squirm, said the doctor, it comes quite expensive. The gas will be eight pence a therm. And then there's my time, short four shillings an hour. You can't do these things in two ticks. By rights, I should charge a half guinea, but I'll do it in eighteen and six. What? Eighteen and six to get sovereign, said father. That doesn't sound sense. I'll tell you what. You just keep Albert and give me the odd eighteen pence. The doctor concurred this arrangement, and to this day he remains in some doubt as to whether he's in eighteen shillings or whether he's eighteen pence out.